friends let's see to create a data frame in r studio now if i see data frame data frame is a special kind of matrix now there is a command called matrix if you go by this command matrix uh, the arrangement is as such that the, the 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 data type in matrix can only be numerical yes but if you take example of data types in r usually there are five data types in r one is numeric integer complex character and logic and logical so uh, data frame is a special kind of matrix let us see how to create a data frame so if you focus from line number 5 to line number 9 i have created certain vectors like number of students id name of students marks scored in subjects economics and mathematics i will create data frame which will have five variables again when i say data frame it will have rows and columns so let me run this five vector one by one and see what will happen in the environment window environment window you'll find certain vectors will be created in the name of the column first is you can see environment window uh, is created which says that roll number is integer having values from 1 to 6 similarly id name yeah now name it is written in, in words now whenever words are used data type is character you can see in the environment window it is saying character it is having values 1 to 6 Suresh, Ramesh etc now whenever you uh, 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 write words it has to be written either in single inverted comma or double inverted comma if you don't do this r will show error now in here you can check this class of this data type name yes so if i type name so it will tell me sector yes now similarly economics and mathematics yes. now focus on line number 11 now line number 11 i have written a command called data frame so you can type in the console window and you can see. is there a command yes there is a command data frame and then in the base package what I have done, I have created, I have written the command data frame in the bracket. I have supplied all the vectors that I have created, as you can see in the environment window. And this anchor value I have stored in a vector called x. Now, what is vector? Vector is used to store value. It makes your work very, very easy. So, let me run line number 11 for you. Yes. So, the moment I run line number 11, you can see in the environment window, it says x6 observation of 5 variables. Now let me run this simply x. So the moment I run x, you can see a beautiful data frame created which has uh, uh, 5 columns and 6 rows. You can also check the structure of this particular data frame by simply typing str is the command that is structure and in bracket you supply the vector. Yes, here the moment I, I, I run this command, here you can see data frame 6 observation of 5 variables and the variables are roll number, id name, economics, mathematics, etc. Now let us perform some other complex operations in data frame. Now let's remember this, let's say if you want to extract certain rows or columns from the data frame, how to do so. So focus on line number uh, 15, the command is rows and columns, rows comma columns. Let's say uh, I want to extract column number 2. If you focus on column number 2, this is id. Can I extract this particular data frame? Yes, I can do so. So simply the command is x, start with box bracket, comma 2. So uh, first place is reserved for rows. Since I don't want rows, I will write comma. And let me run this command for you and see what it happens. Yes, the moment I run this command, I, I have extracted the second column. And second column is the column of id. Now let's say I want to extract third row when i say row this is this is this is the row, third row let's say when i say third row let's say i want to extract this particular row can i extract yes i can do so so line number 8 is x rows comma column so row is 3 so 3 comma so let me run this yes the moment i i am getting this you can see i have extracted the third column which contain uh, 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 the values of row number 3 yes now let's say can i extract uh values which is there in the fourth row and fifth column so this is the fourth row and fifth column the value is 98 can i extract this particular value you yes i can do so so the command is x which is the name of the vector start with box bracket 4 comma 5 let me run this the moment i run this i go the value as 90 you can verify 
it is 98. Now you can also remove certain columns from the data frame. Yes, let's say I want to remove column number 3. So what is column number 3? Roll number ID name. Yes, the column number 3 is name. Can I remove this particular column from the data frame that I created? Yes, I can do so. so the command is x box bracket comma minus 3. If you want to remove certain column, use the command minus minus 3. So let me run this. Yes. Now here you can see in this data frame, you can find the name of the students. Similarly, can I uh, remove particular row from the data frame? Yes. So the command is x box bracket minus 2 comma. First uh, place is reserved for rows. So let me run this command. Now here you can see the second row is, is missing. So this is how you create data frame and you perform operations on, on, on the existing data frame. Thank you so much for watching. It's a pleasure being with you.